How many of us struggle with engagement on social media? Maybe you struggle with keeping track of everything on social media and you just feel like because of maybe algorithm changes, maybe there's more and more people marketing on social media, you're just getting lost in the scroll. You don't know what to do to monetize, you don't know what steps to take, and you feel overwhelmed. We're gonna get into some meat and potatoes and really help you with the infrastructure. And I'm gonna pull out some nuggets out of Shaleen here that I think yeah, are gonna baby. impact your business in a major way. Have the amazing Shalene Johnson here. Shalene, super excited to have you here. You've built multiple seven-figure businesses. You've been a New York Times bestseller. You've created incredible programs for entrepreneurs, people building businesses on social media. And I know today we're going to talk all things monetization and just really help these individuals that are ready for that next level of training, next level of marketing. They're ready to take their business seriously. No more hobby income. They're ready for a professional level of income. Well, thank you so much for having me, John. I appreciate that super yes. energetic intro. Um, I'd love to start off if I can just by sharing with people why this is important to me. And when you go through a list of the things that I've done, um, it's, it's a nice reminder. Like, it's like, wow, like these, all of these things that you mentioned would not be possible. I wouldn't have been able to do them if it weren't for social media. But I want to be also really clear that it's not just because of social media. Social media is like a piece of it. It's how we amplify it. But when I wanted to figure this out, I believed that I could figure it out myself. Like I would save us money if this idea that I had to reach more people online, if I just tried to sort through it myself, I would try to figure out like how to edit the videos and how to grow on social media and how to, you know, all of the things that I wanted for myself, I believed that I could figure it out. The things that Brett and I have done together, those are recent accompl accomplishments. Those are things that only happened after I had a major wake up call and just said, I got to get my butt in gear. I, I've got to get serious. I got to focus. I need to know. I've got to stop fidgeting and, and floating around and keeping myself busy from 6 a.m. until midnight every day, but not moving, not going anywhere, like, and feeling very, very burnt out. And it was taking a toll on our marriage. It took a major toll on our finances because I was spending money just chasing, like, whatever the next thing I saw someone else doing. I'm like, oh, I should do that. I should do that. I should do that. Maybe I should start that. That seems to be working for them. I'll try that without really giving true intention to building the foundation of our business. And it did take a major toll on our finances. We were almost a half a million dollars in debt. I don't think you're going to find too many couples who are just blissfully married and also massively in debt. It's like those two things just don't go together. We got to a place where we almost filed for the B and the D. Like I don't use the D word. That's a rule. But um, we almost filed for bankruptcy and we didn't have to file for either of those things because we just decided there's, there's got to be another way. And there's got to be a system that if we just really get focused on our intentions of getting the basics in place and real and remember like why we're doing this. And that's for me, having turned our own lives around, having climbed out of debt within a matter of six months um, and now having helped thousands of other people do this. It is not because of the money that I do this it is because I care about your kids I care about your relationship. I care about your happiness. I care about your confidence. I care about your health. That's why I do this. I'm sick of the message that you've got to hustle your face off. And, and all of the, I'm sorry, amazing people out there teaching great information, but it's the stuff that they're teaching to people, they're not ready for it. It's not the right time. Well, I think that's part of the problem, right? There's so much influence out there on work your face off. And, you know, even a lot of our messaging is around working hard, but we go to all of our son's baseball games. It's like, what's the point of getting wealthy and building a huge business if you sacrifice not just your relationships, but your health? I mean, hello, it makes no sense yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. However, a lot of the people that follow us obviously are part-time or maybe they're 
just on the verge of full time. And, and I think that's awesome. But I also feel like a lot of them have very high expectations that they should be further along sooner. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that you got to pay a price and you got to sacrifice. And there is gonna, there's gonna be times where you're out of balance, but we don't wanna sacrifice everything for something that honestly, it, it's, it's unattainable because once you do finally get to that point of making millions of dollars, it's not like you're now problemless. It's, like, right. it's, not, it's not like you've arrived and now you're like, ah, oh, pure bliss. Now I'm right. just happy 24 seven. So I would love for you to touch on, what would you encourage someone to do getting started down this path that you teach and you know obviously they are ready for that next level but they're also you know maybe still part-time maybe still trying to figure things out with yeah. their current business to be profitable well you know a couple of things you said number one people they want it fast I remember that I went to a seminar and I remember it was Brian Tracy who said the average the average person it takes them 10 years to become a millionaire and I was like <laughs> I don't want to wait 10 years. I don't want to wait. I was like, I'd quit. Like, and he said, you know, you're the, the 10 years are going to pass whether you like it or not. So you can do the work and make that happen or give up. I will say that he said that in a conference that I went to in 1998 mm. and that has a lot has changed since then. And you can certainly not, I don't know that necessarily your goal is to make millions or even six figures, but I can promise you this, you will get there. And I'm sure Brian will say this too. 10 times faster today because there wasn't Instagram, there wasn't Facebook, there wasn't free advertising, there wasn't a way to go viral unless you're paying for advertising. So I don't believe that there are any black, hat. there's no trick to getting there faster. And I've heard people say that there's no shortcut, which may be true, but there's definitely a longer way to do it. And there's a shorter way to do it. And the shorter way to do it is the most direct route. And that is by not taking a bunch of, you know, detours along the way. When you're traveling someplace and you know the destination, even if you know the general destination, if you're stopping off and taking side roads and visiting every little town and, and antiquing and, and just seeing where the road takes you, that's a much longer way to do anything. And that's essentially what we're doing if we're just allowing whatever captures our attention mm. to dictate what steps we follow next when it comes to building this thing. I think the average person thinks they want to grow their social media, but we're not talking to average people today. We're talking to people who get it and they, they don't want to just be popular. They want to be able to monetize and spend a lot less time working and a lot more time living. So I, let me give you the three steps and I hope you guys are writing these down. This is the order. This is the order I did not know. This is the order that most people um, skip. It's the order that it is, it's guaranteed. So when you follow this order, it doesn't matter the idea or the business. It doesn't matter whether you're in network marketing or you're creating your own brand. It doesn't matter whether you're selling a book or you're, you've developed a t-shirt line or a hat line or an Etsy store. It doesn't matter. This, we have used these same exact steps, this exact formula to take eight different ideas, like from, you know, even something like a, a daily journal or water bottles or a fitness program or an online course or academy and even network marketing. We've used this to create seven figure businesses for eight different ideas in vastly different areas. So the system works. Step one, stage one, if you will, is to pick niche and brand. A lot of people go, yeah, I got it. It's all up here. I know my girl. I know my brand. I, I know what my niche is. It's all right here. And when we do it up here, we miss really important details. That's like trying to file your taxes based on what you can remember. It's worse than that. You really need to go through a process of understanding where your niche is, what makes you unique, understanding and developing everything about your brand on paper, like as if you were sitting down with a branding agency so that you know the colors that appeal to the person you want to work with, so that you know the language, the language you would use, the language you wouldn't use, um, what is okay because it offends the kind of people that you don't want to work with. Like you have to reject certain people and it's, if, you, if you want to enjoy doing what you do, you can't work with people who bug the heck out of you and suck the life and mojo out of you. Like you don't want those people to get in your car. So 
branding is about really developing like a way that you're broadcasting to the world. Here's who I am. Here's what I stand for. And if this is what you're looking for, I am looking for you. I am looking for you and I want to make it really easy for you to find me. That's the branding piece of it. So it's well, the reason why I say pick, and this is really important. I'd love to see in the comments if this is true for those of you watching we often feel like we're so creative. We have so many ideas. Well, I'm going to do network marketing and I'm going to um, start a podcast and I'm going to write an ebook and I'm also a uh, makeup consultant and I'm also a, a speaker and I, I'm also, I've got this idea to invent this product. Like, and, and we're afraid to pick any one thing and focus on it for fear that we might pick the one that doesn't move fast enough. We'll miss an opportunity if we pick one thing. But hear me clearly. When you confuse, you lose. And that's a quote from Donald Miller. When, when you don't, you first have to become known for one thing. And that was a mistake I was making. I was working, uh, I was, I'd written a digital book on how to start a, a personal training business. I was personal training. I was creating a, a fitness program. I was doing seminars for women who wanted to figure out how to start a business from home, applying to go to law school and working as a paralegal. Wow. It was a million things I was trying to do at once. And we were so far in debt. I just realized I have to pick, I have to pick one. And this advice may be contrary to what other folks have told you, but I don't think you necessarily have to pick the one that you're like, this is what I was born to do. This is my mission. This is my passion. Personally, and maybe this has to do with our situation at the time, I picked the one where I saw an immediate opportunity. So where right now do you have the easiest opportunity to be known for one thing? The easiest. That, that's my personal recommendation. It just makes it a little easier. Because guess what? You can do all those other things later after you become known. And, and what I mean by that is after it's successful in such a way that you can kind of put it on autopilot. Right. And then get excited about that. The other thing, I didn't, every single one of those things I just mentioned to you, John, eventually I went back to them. But not until I became, not until I picked one and I really niched down and branded myself. That's step one. So many people are trying to model the successful influencer, right? The person with the big brand. And they go, wow, I, like, I wanna, I'm going to launch a podcast like Shaleen. I'm going to launch a journal of my own. I can do that. I, I'm going to come up with a, a water bottle brand. I'm, I'm going to create a course as well. And I'm going to be speaking. And, I, and it's like, dude, like, are you even making money doing one of those things yet? Like, well, no. Like, well, then how are you going to do five things? It's the same thing with social media, right? Like, I need to focus on LinkedIn. I need to start a YouTube channel. I need to do more Pinterest. I definitely need to get the hang of Instagram. And I need IGTV. And it's like, wait, what? Like, do you even have engagement on Facebook? Like, have you done anything on Facebook? Like, no, start there, man. Like one right. thing at a time. So I love that you talked about yeah. that. It's huge. Oftentimes I find that people are in network marketing and they're like, this isn't my thing. You know, I, I, I was kind of into the product at first, but like, I just don't feel like this is my mission or my purpose. And now I say, it doesn't have to be. But is it your opportunity at the moment? Is it your opportunity to be successful and to help solve a problem and in the process become known for that and then develop that next thing that you want to be your own? And I was there too, John. I, um, I went to, I spent $17,000 taking a four-day training on how to become a speaker and author only to realize that you know, it's going to be difficult to become a, a speaker unless, or even to become an author on a particular topic unless I had, I could be known for some type of expertise. So then I took a training on how to become an expert in which I learned you really need a product to sell. I'm like, all right. So then I took a course on how to develop a course and how to develop a product <laughs> in which I learned you, but you need to know how to sell it. So then I took a course on how to launch a product in which I learned, well, you can't launch a product unless you have an email list. And I'm like, well, for for Pete's sake, could somebody give me the list? Could, could I please have the syllabus? Will somebody, <laughs> anyone out there who's going to tell me what, what's, could I know up front what the order is that I'm supposed to learn these things? And I promised my husband, I'm like, I'm not going to make other people deal with this. I, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to stand in front of you and I'm going to grab the, that Gucci wallet right out of your hand and say, no, girl, you are not paying for another training because you don't need that right now. I'm not going to let that happen because that just creates stress and it, it kills your confidence because you're like, 
I guess there's something wrong with me because it works for other people. No, it just wasn't the right time. It was not the right time. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I'm so determined to help people stay accountable to doing things in the right order. You said in the very beginning, what's the point of being popular, right? This is in high school, right? And even in high school, it was irrelevant to be popular. We thought it was the thing we wanted, right? And if you were popular, you realize like it's, there's, what's the point, right? Like we're here to make money. I got on social media because I wanted to make money. I wanted to pay the bills. I, was, I wasn't actually money motivated. I was freedom motivated. That's what motivated ding, ding, me ding, 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 ding. to have the, exactly, to have freedom. And, and then, you know, you go into this online world and there's so many opinions. And that's why I say follow two to three people, tops. Two to three people, two to three experts, because there's too many conflicting opinions and there's a bajillion ways to make money. So basically what you're saying is start with step one which is build the email list, right? Build, or, or even before that, the brand, right? And then step two, right, build right, the right, email right. list. So that way you're, you're, you're capturing leads and you're building a deeper connection with yeah. the people that are engaging on your social media. Yeah, let's talk about step two. So step two, for those of you um, who haven't done, these are what I call the business foundational pieces. Like, so step two is your basics. And these things I'm about to mention to you, it is literally the thing that will make your business move forward where most people spin their wheels and busy themselves as in social media. But if you spent a far greater percentage of your time first, just building these basics before you did anything on, like give yourself, write yourself a permission slip to take a week off of social media and you'll do all these. In fact, you know, if you're, if you're pretty focused, you can do them in a day, day and a half. Here's what I'm talking about develop something that is a gift or of service to your audience that solves a problem. Um, we like to call it a freemium, a free gift, an opt-in, a lead magnet. It's something that you're giving to people for two reasons. Number one, obviously, is their email address. But number two is to start the relationship. It's your first date. It is, you're giving them something that, and if they use it and it works, now there's this reciprocity they feel, right? Where it's like, wow, that person, like they did me a solid for free. I kind of like them and trust them. Now, if that person never opens your freemium, if they never use it, if it doesn't solve a problem for them, it's like going on one blind date and never going on a date again. It was pointless. So mm. one thing I really help our students to do is to realize this isn't just create one opt-in and walk away. We create here at Team Johnson freemiums, opt-ins, gifts, ways to serve our audience every single week. We are far more focused on that than we are creating content for social media because we want to build trust. We, wanted, we want people to have the experience with us that, wow, if this is how valuable their services are when they're free, I can't imagine what it's like to invest with them. So mm -hmm. step one is creating your freemiums, which you can't do unless you've done step one. Like you, you have no business creating something for free if you don't know every piece of your niche and your brand. But once you create those things, then you've got to develop a really strong opt-in page. This is a single page. They're free for most people to create. In fact, most email management software programs like MailChimp or um, iContact, they, almost all of them now will give you a free platform where you can host that page where people are signing up for your free um, meal plans or your 10 nightly skin tips or your um, how to access or like whatever it is you're giving away to people for free that solves a problem. You can host that on what's called an, an opt-in page. And we teach people like how to design that. Like that changes about every six months, the, what, what's working on an opt-in page, what color the button needs to be that says click here <laughs> now, like that matters. You can see a boost of as much as 16% just by changing the color of your opt-in button or wow. where the image is on the page or whether you're using a short video, a long video, like all of these things, you don't need to worry about that. That's something that we teach our students because I know that you're creative and you want to help people and you ain't got time nor did you go to school to be a digital marketer. So why not have someone who's doing that work for you? But that's step two. And you need those pieces in place because otherwise, when you move to step three, which is the social, right? Step three is what I call impact. So it's podcasting, it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's mm. connecting with people and, and building those relationships and promoting the fact that you have a way to help people for free. 
And that starts that relationship. That's what social media should be about. People think they're supposed to be closing and, and recruiting in their DMs. No, you're not. That's what gives network marketers a bad name. That's what gives people the idea that social media is salesy. You're not supposed to be doing that there. If I can build my email list, people are, get this, John, 77% more likely to make a purchase from an email prompt versus a social media prompt. And mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those odds all day long. It makes so much sense too, because what if your social media gets shut down, right? How about the algorithm changes? I saw Gary Vaynerchuk, he did this video and he's like, can you guys all, and he of course he used some swear words that I won't use right now, but he's like, can you all F and stop talking about the algorithm changes because it changes all the time, which means there's no mother effing algorithm because right. it changes all the time. And I was like, right. wow, that was actually a really good way yeah. to put it. Like I didn't really look at that because if it changes and then it changes again and then it changes again, that just means you can never catch it because it's ever changing. And uh, I think, a great example of this, because I love that you touched on that, we did this a few years ago. So what we did is we created a Facebook group, but we're like, you know, we want this community to be for network marketers and entrepreneurs. We want it to be a place where we do like, you know, group coaching, we provide value, we, we uh, can mastermind inside the group, we can have other experts come in and, and share their ideas. Uh, but we don't want to just have them join this group because we have no control over the group. What if the group gets shut down? What if things, who knows what's going to happen long term? So they had to enter their name and email on mylifestyleacademy.com to join the Facebook group, but we also captured their email so we could still communicate with them directly in their inbox. And it's funny because people will say, well, not that many people open emails or they don't open emails like they used to. And I just don't agree with that. I think people absolutely open up emails if it's from someone they want an email from. And when they open it, they get value from it. And I think that's just so, so huge, especially long term with the ever change of, you know, the, the always changing algorithm, the always changing social media strategies. There's always new social media platforms out there. You just never know when your account might get shut down or God forbid a social media platform gets shut down altogether. So I think it's, yeah. I think it's crucial. I know you guys had a crazy situation in the past where someone literally hijacked your social media. I mean, yeah. you just never know. So you want to have another way to communicate with them. It's very noisy on social media these days. So this is a way to get more personal. And I think that's hugely important. So I'm glad we touched, we touched on that. And, and I know know inside of your your academy you go deeper on this I know you go deeper on the branding I know you go deeper on 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 Facebook ads and funnels and all this advanced stuff that for a lot of us we get so caught up in all of it and like you said when you get confused you lose and and uh, as Nadia will always say they feel like uh, they're pregnant with all these ideas and they get so overwhelmed that they can't spin any of these ideas out and actually make money online yeah. and I think it's tough because they just they don't know what to do with their time they don't know where to put their energy and they don't know how to capture leads so you know when you said going deeper um, that's really where the I you know frankly I mean we can make excuses but the reason why I hadn't done any of these things, those, those steps that I just went over and, and it took me so long to do them is because I was intimidated by the technology and I was intimidated by all the options. It's like, I don't know which is the best one. This person's using Infusionsoft. This person's like, which is the best one? I was paralyzed by the decision. Right. Decisions. So when you say going deeper, I want people to know what what's really important to me is simplifying this. like. I would just say, I just need an expert. Just freaking tell me, tell me which one to pick. Please, please just tell me. And so what we do with our students, because I, I, she and he are a lot like myself and Brett, where our first strength isn't technology, nor should it be. So what we do is with our students is we say, okay, based on the size of your audience right now, based on what it is you're doing right now, here are your two options, here's the pros and cons. All right, your audience or your business or your dreams or your goals are this size, all right, here are your two options. Here's the price and here's the pros and the cons. Like mm. with, with no you know, dog in the fight other than to like, let us do the research for you and get rid of all the ones that aren't gonna serve you and you don't need them, they're too big, they're too fancy, you just don't need it yet. Like almost every, in fact, everything that I just mentioned is free now. Like all that, like setting up your email list, creating free, all of that, I almost said a swear word, all that stuff is free. <laughs> and when we first started doing this, like Brett and I talked about it yesterday, we flushed $125,000 down the toilet 
in developing websites and shopping carts and dumb things that today that didn't work PS and were always broken and then we couldn't reach the developer. And now that, that stuff's free. Like you have no reason not to do this. And the only people who will fail are those who get so distracted by the options and don't follow and focus on a plan. But I do right. want you to know my preferred mode of teaching with people is to give you all the ways that you learn, which is audio, right? Visual, so you can actually see it, screen flow style, and then a written text form so that if you're like, okay, I just need to read this and highlight it and check things off. And speaking of checking things off, this is something I created for our students. I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, John. I just get so excited yeah, about this perfect. thing because I really think this sets our academy apart from anyone else's because this is what you need to do and how and in the right order. Right. I would take these seminars and workshops and I would often bring like a pad of paper or a notebook or whatever and I would feverishly write down notes and then I would get back and return to my home and feel stressed out because I had taken three days off and not remember a thing that I needed to do, not have any time to implement those things. And then I would lose the notebook and, and I knew like, I need that information later. Okay, so like once I have my email list, I need, I need that information, now I can't find the notebook. So I wanted to create like one single freaking place where if I have, life takes over and now I've got to get my kid through, you know, uh, cheer auditions or whatever, then I can take a break from work and remember where I left off. And I don't right. have to wonder like, okay, so where was I and what was my next step? It's like, it's right there for you. And every single agency, every single seminar, every single expert, every single mentor and every single coach that I've ever worked with, everything is in here, but in the right order. I just think it's awesome because you have all that structured and it's not just uh, you know, a, a course where you're just kind of going through the information and then that's it. You have a whole playbook, a whole support group. Like there's so much structure to that MIA program. I mean, it blows my mind that you constantly update it and you stay on top of what's happening out there in the social media world and the business world. I mean, this is the thing. People get information constipation and they get so overwhelmed that that analysis paralysis kicks in they do nothing which is obviously going to backfire they're not going to become profitable if they do nothing so it's just so huge that not only do you have the academy and the structured training but i love that they can do a brain dump into this playbook and everything is very congruent with the academy it's structured so they can go through through it step by step and they get lifetime access to it if you're thinking like oh cool i'm gonna i'm gonna get this course and i'm gonna jump right ahead and i'm gonna learn how to start a podcast it does not work that way right because i don't work that way because i care about your success and so therefore i'm gonna make you do the things that are going to help you to be successful long term i'm gonna make you go through those branding lessons whether you want to or not so if you're like <laughs> i'm not going to be forced to do that i'm you know i'm gonna skip ahead and do the social media this ain't your course mm. this is for people who are like i understand that the more solid my foundation the bigger the house i get to build i'm mm. looking for people who don't want to build a, a, a card house a, card house house of cards yeah that could be blown <laughs> over the next time the algorithms change i ain't interested in helping those people there's a million people who are going to sell you a bunch of bs and you're going to go cool i just launched a podcast and no one's listening mm -hmm. cool i just wrote a book and no one's buying it you know you can't go i hope i'm a new york times best-selling author it don't work that way <laughs> like you need to know the system and the plan you have to do things in the right order and so if i just want to be very clear on that so that people understand the expectations and you have lifetime access so if you lose interest life gets in the way uh, you will know where you left off and you pick right back up it's designed so there, there isn't a start and a finish It's designed so you can jump in take in a 20 minute lesson and then go and apply it the next day and get a return on your investment like immediately we do make a, a payment option available because I know what that's like so you can start for $357 and then there's five payments of 357 after that but there's two reasons why really three reasons why I if you can like it's not in everybody's um, wheelhouse at the moment maybe but if you can make the full payment here's what happens you fully commit mentally mm -hmm. right you're not a little bit in it it creates a sense of urgency in you it's like when you teach your kids the value of something they 
pay for with their own allowance versus something you just give them, it's a huge difference. It's a mindset shift that make, I can tell you having done this now, having worked with people for more than 20 years, I can tell you that the people who go all in, they're just that much more successful because as you know, attitude is everything. The second reason why this is incredibly powerful if you have the means by which to, to go all the way in is eventually you can't do it all. Right. Don and Nadia, myself, and anyone else that you know who's frigging killing it, it's not just them. I promise you they have a team. And the size of your dream is dependent upon the size of your amazing team. And I'm sitting here today because, and I'm at my office, but there's, and they're being so quiet, I don't know why, they're usually very loud. But they're, <laughs> uh, my team is here and they are a dream. This is the dream team, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous human beings on the inside and some of them on the outside. <laughs> No, they're, they're amazing people. But you know, you, you can't, you can only go so far on your own and you can only go so far without burning yourself out and destroying relationships and destroying your health. Like you've got to have help. So for those who fully commit and take the option of paying it in full, no, you will be given an additional bonus. I'm going to give you my how to hire course. Mm -hmm. where I'm going to teach you who's the very first person you need to hire part time, just a few hours a week for as little as $5 an hour overseas. Where do you find these people? How do you, how do you sort through them? How do you write? We're little, literally going to help you write the ad to find this person. How do you outsource to them? How do you pay them? How do you terminate them? How do you, how does that work with your taxes? How does it, how do you know what things they've actually done during the day? How do you keep track of, who you should hire next from nuts to bolts from your very first hire to your executive level that that's that's pretty magical like it again ask anyone you know or do a little digging of the people who you want to be like when you grow up i guarantee they have a team around them so that's a, a 500 dollars value that you'll get as a an additional bonus when you choose the full pay option and the third reason why you want to do this is because you save 145 dollars you know, so it's it's just a smart decision. And I know it's not for everyone. Even if it's not for you, I promise we will take care of you inside the academy. And that decision is one that I don't know anyone who makes it without a sense of like fear. It feels like fear, but it's really excitement. You know, that's where greatness happens. It happens outside your comfort zone. Ain't nothing great ever happened in your life when you were super comfy and sitting back and going, this is easy. Right. Greatness does not happen that way. You've got to take bold action. You've got to believe in yourself. You have to say, you know what? Good enough ain't good enough. I want, I want an unbelievable life. I don't want to be working this hard. I don't want to be struggling. I don't want to have to make decisions and, and realize I can't do something because I can't afford to do it. You know, mm -hmm. that's that. it's really about betting on yourself, believing in yourself. Why not me? And the truth is, it doesn't matter if you're from Yale or jail. It doesn't matter if you have... Uh, an MBA or you're a community college dropout like me, right? Anybody can be successful or anybody can be a failure. It's all a matter of a decision and sticking with your commitment. Commitment is doing the thing you said you would do long after the mood you set it in has left you. So yep. get committed and, and it's interesting that we want people to buy into us, but we won't invest in ourselves. And, and you know, the thing is, it's a it's a tax write off too. It's a no brainer for people that are really for that really ready for that next level. And sometimes people will say, "Well, I can't afford it." But you can't afford not to. Like if you're trying to build an online business, it'll cost you more money not to invest in this program. So to me, it's a complete no brainer, and that's why we endorse it. We don't just endorse anything. We only promote things that we believe in, things that we've invested in. Thing we put our money where our mouth is, and you know, because we started investing some big bucks over the years, you know, doing uh, high level courses, but also doing high level masterminds, like investing big, big dollars, money that in the beginning we felt like we didn't have or we couldn't yeah. afford it. Yeah. We found a way to make it happen, and it's interesting how. Very shortly thereafter, we became million dollar earners in our company and started having massive success. But but the truth is, that was us prolonging the inevitable because we took so long to invest big money in ourselves and believe that it was worth the investment mm -hmm. because it's always worth the investment. It's what you do with the investment, mm -hmm. right? And I actually didn't know this. You guys had a record number of enrollments the very first day yeah. out of the, the years you've been you know enrolling students in this program, a record number because you had a waiting list of people that were like, 
chomping at the bit to get in. So yeah. I'm just excited about this. We're excited to be partnered with you guys and, and be ambassadors. And we're just uh, really humbled and, and grateful. But it, do you have any closing thoughts, Shalene? I know we're getting a lot of comments coming in. I just want to say um, thank you. And for those who do make that decision, I, I just want to say that we are going to take care of you. And I want to congratulate you for doing something bold and courageous and feeling it's time and, and not letting another year go by and realizing you're worse off or in the same place and that you could be so much for you could have been so much further ahead. Don't kick yourself for missing the opportunity. You know, it's not something that's going to knock on your door. It's something you've got to make a decision and take action. And I just want to say congratulations. And I'm proud of you because I know it's scary. But when you believe in yourself, when you bet on yourself, you win.